Okay, guys, it's uh, Leif here for Access Real down at uh, Supernova where uh, I'm talking to, to Steve Bisley here. How are you going, Steve? I'm good, Leif. Have good. you had a good show in uh, Sydney before you came across for Perth? Yeah, um, so this is my fourth now because we did Cause you, Melbourne yeah. Gold Coast and then Sydney and uh, Perth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. going well? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so just um, just going back a bit to when you started out, you studied at NIDA in Sydney, yeah, yeah. Um, which is very um, competitive school to get into. How, yeah, how was absolutely. That? How was that for you? That experience getting in uh, um, when you did I your acting quite studies? I could it myself <laughs> because I think um, the year I applied, uh, they had fifteen hundred applicants, and they took for how many twenty six. Yeah. So it was like, oh god, I was. More surprised than anyone else, I think. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. And it was a hard, it was a hard course to. to I do, loved it. You, Absolutely. You really embraced it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that it was what I wanted to do. It. I, I think I'd been there about a fortnight, bro. I thought, yeah, this is something I really want to be yeah. involved with. So yeah. Okay. Now you, you've done a lot of roles. You have a long list of credits to your name, but mm. I'm going to go straight to to my favourite, right. the great legendary Gordon Farkas. Cool. <laughs> Um, what a guy. That is just a, what a, a guy. great film. I love it. You're hilarious in it. I, I had a, a lot of joy watching that growing up. And the best um, hair. <laughs> what is some of the best hair on any character going around? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> can you tell us a bit about um, how that role came along and how that film okay. kind of came mm -hmm. together? So it was made by Nadia Tass and David Parker. Yeah. But had a, a, a really great success with films like Malcolm, um, previous to the big steel and yeah. so I was approached to play um, Gordon yeah. the used car salesman <laughs> and because everyone had a used car salesman story and a pretty bad story yeah so to sort of research for the role I just went out to a lot of really shady car yards <laughs> uh, right. on the pretext of buying a car so all these chonky car salesmen would do their act for you, you yeah know? Trying to get sued by the car, so <laughs> Gordon's really the sum of so all those of your experiences. So, or? and the, the hair was a choice. So, I had this big sort of boofy '80s sort of hair, yeah, with about four cans of spray in it. He had a good suit, but it was three inches too short, you know. <laughs> and he was just a he oh, he's, he's a guy he wanted to take home. Really. <laughs> so, if if you um, so you you kind of had a bit of um. I guess flexibility and how to how to play him. He wasn't written that were from what you're saying. You did a bit of research. And I did a bit of research. Kind of um, take yeah, he was written very well. But yeah. but I'd said I'd said to Nadia Tass in rehearsal. I said, look, everyone's going to have a used car salesman story. They all know yeah. what it, what these people are like. I said I want to flip him a bit, and I said to her, I think he's a cross dresser. <laughs> and she looked at me like you just looked at me this sort of blank look in her face. And she went, what do you mean? I said, I think there was I only, remember that was only <laughs> one scene where we could do it. Yeah, yeah. It was when he's pulled up by the cops. He gets out and he's yeah. got, and he's got his fishnet stockings yeah, and high yeah. shoes on. Yeah. Um, and, and then she thought it was a wonderful idea. But the night we shot it, I remember I did it and none of the crew laughed. I went, oh, shit. But I did see it in the theatre at the yeah. premiere and Pippa on the floor. Right. So I thought it was the right move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was. Um, it just showed another side of oh, yeah. Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> classic, classic character. Yeah. Um, but you worked with Ben Mendelsohn on that as well. Yeah, back with, then. and what Claudia was, Garvin. Yes, um, so, so what was working with those two? Oh, like? Mendo, <clears throat> he, I mean, he's, he's gone on to do some great stuff. Yeah. He was always really great to work with. I worked in the theatre with him too, but you know, he, he would come up like good actors should, you know, with lots of stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I thought it was really, really sweet. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now you, you, did a, you did a long run of, of episodes on Water Rats, of course, about yeah. 100 episodes, I yeah. think it was. Um, yeah. when, you were, when you were chasing that role, was there, um, were you weighing that up against other projects or, or was that one that was sort of on the top of your list to, to try and get involved with? Um, I'd... So they'd asked me to come on. Colin Friels was the sort of head detective on the show. Yeah. But Colin had gotten a little sick. Um, so they got my character in. I think that if Colin was unable to go on, they had this other guy 
that had already appeared in the show. So I came on for a little, like a five-week period. Yeah. And then I'd gone on to do something else. My agent rang one day and said, uh, what are that called? They want you to come back full time. Oh, okay. And so I thought about it. I'd actually sign up to do a cooking course in Italy. <laughs> and so I got invited to this meeting, meeting until died. Right. And I said, look, you know, you're going to come on? And I said, well, I've signed up to do this cooking course <laughs> in Italy. And they went, look, if you postpone it, we'll, uh, we'll pay for you to go later. Okay. So I ended up on so it. But I was prepared course. to go to the cooking course <laughs> okay. rather than do water ice. But, but uh, I'm glad I made the move. Right. Good, yeah. no, I looked, I'd say it worked out with that many, <laughs> yeah, that many episodes episode. to yeah. appear on. Yeah. Um, now, now th- th- it's a big year for the for the Mad Max stuff. Uh, it's a big anniversary years, yeah. year, 40 yeah. years. Um, you've appeared in a few supernovas kind of celebrating and, and commemorating it. It must yeah. have triggered a few memories and reflections on that part of your life. I can't believe it's 40 years from yeah. the start. I mean, it's just crazy. Yeah, look, it was effectively, I'd done, I'd done a film when I was in second year at NIDA with Mel Gibson again. We did a film called Summer City. Yeah. We were given permission uh, from NIDA to go and do this because you, you weren't allowed to work outside the, the college. Yeah. Um, but we got a special dispensation to do it. But really, Mad Max is the first film that we, that we did. So yeah. we virtually came straight out of drama school into Max. Nobody knew it was going to become the cult film it became, but, yeah. but we knew it was sort of different. Yeah. 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 I'm sure it felt a little bit yeah. off centre. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, yeah. Um, and the experience of making it, that, is that so that's something you hold pretty close to heart these days? It was sort of guerrilla filming. Yeah. I mean, there was no minimum safety. So, <laughs> so the bikes were going fast, we were going fast. Yeah. Know, there was yeah. no CGI. So <laughs> no, no. It was real. It was pretty raw. Yeah. yeah. And then and, and the series, the, the popularity of the series is just maintained over the years yeah. from generation to generation. And, and yeah. obviously, um, Fury Road came out and had a massive reception. Yeah. Um, financially, it did well. Critically, it did really well. Yeah. Um, well, what do you think about that kind of that that kind of um, movie setting? Yeah, it look, its it, popularity just keeps enduring. Uh, yeah, given given the distance between the first sort of three. Yeah. And the new lot, yeah, that's a natural progression for it to go. Yeah, I think it's great. I, uh, I think it left people wanting more. I oh, know. Um, I was... think the first lot, there was always an expectation that it would go forward. Yeah. Um, yeah, and George is a good filmmaker. There's no doubt about it. So, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, well, thank you very much for, uh, for talking to us. Um, I hope you have a great show here in Perth. Thanks, Thanks for mate. coming out and seeing us. Thanks, bro.